morning guys how are we doing today is like the 4th or the 5th of april and i was gonna do i've just come in from outside <laughs> i was gonna do this video outside as it's beautiful sunny day so i thought until i put my poor little feet down on the concrete and they just went oh no you don't and then the big wind came from around the corner and i'm like oh no just no, this isn't going to happen. I'm going back inside. Tanny's on a call with other people, so I kind of came in here to do this. <sighs> Anywho, how are you doing? I know I haven't been around for the last week. Sorry. <laughs> I have put a couple of videos up, you know, but I haven't done any morning musings. Basically because I've been trying to sort of sort my own head out on how I felt about what I'm doing right now. Now one of the things I'm doing as part of my journey is I'm doing some shadow, what's called shadow work and that is working on the dark side of what's going on in your brain box, right? It's the bits that people don't want to know about. You know, it, it's, the, it's the stuff that you don't want to know about and you tend to Kind of, oh God, I've got to take this down. It's actually quite warm in here. <laughs> Freezing outside, warm inside. You know, it's just the way it is. Now, I don't really remember a time where I wasn't afraid. I don't. My whole life, I don't think there's been a time when I wasn't afraid. Um, when... My kids were younger and we lived in a place called Mark's Point. This exacerbated and started um, started turning into agoraphobia. And that's what I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to work on my fear of everything outside right now. I love my garden. I do. I love foraging. These are things I adore doing. But I don't feel I can be out there every day. Not every day. I wish I could. Um, but... Yeah. Some days are really, really hard. And because I have other health issues and stuff like that to think about, I kind of... And I have other people who are fearful for me as well, um, which doesn't help. I mean, it does in one way because they're showing you that they love you and they worry about you and all of that kind of stuff, but it doesn't help you overcome your fears. It actually exacerbates your fears because those people who are closest to you are worried for you and trying to talk you out of doing things. So anyway, the point of this is I started down this road because a few week, a few days ago, almost a week ago, Justin Rhodes put out a video which was a little snippet of episode two of his Rooted series, his documentary that he's doing um, about him and his family and their journey and their homesteading and all that kind of stuff. If you're part of their um, monthly thing, membership club thing. The thing is, I'm not. <laughs> I can't justify that kind of money at the moment um, every month, so I get what I can, <laughs> which is on his channel. And he's putting out a few snippets of this one, which is kind of nice. So one of them was, it was about Becca and her anxiety and stuff like that. And one of the things she does is she asks herself, when she comes to a situation, she asks herself, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? Now I spent a lot of years asking myself that and acting on it. And it was when I stopped asking myself that question and stopped acting on that, that I started to get worse. 
I have days now where I actually can't leave this room. Um, it's, you know, what I didn't know at the time was that agoraphobia is actually a symptom of PTSD. Or oh, complex PTSD, which is what um, I have been diagnosed with, and I have been diagnosed for many, many years with this. Um, but, you know, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? I know what my dream is, and I work towards that in my own little way, step by step, every single day. Um, there's two things that I want to, well, there are two goals that I have this week. I actually did go out yesterday and I went to go foraging. I went to go and get the wild garlic, but unfortunately where you have to park to get to the place, it's only 10 minute parking or you get fined because you have to have a um, parking permit to be there because it's like resident parking, you know, which is fair enough, and I get that, but there's no other way to get down there. Um, and there's nowhere anywhere about where, you know, parking is easy, because it's not. <laughs> so I got down to where it was, I saw it there, and I couldn't get down the bank to it. So I turned around and came back to the car. And I was very upset because I couldn't get down the bank because if I got down the bank and got back up it probably would have taken me 10 minutes to get down the bank and 30 minutes to get back up it <laughs> which made me upset of course then we went to look at where we know that there are elderflower trees and we wanted to see how close they were to budding and they're not which is great, which is fine, didn't want to. And then Tani was about to drive home and I went, no, I want to go out, I want to go somewhere, I want to do something, let's just keep going. I'm out now, let's just keep going. So he took me to a place where we know there's some pine trees because he knows that there's something, that I have. there's a little job that I want to do and I'm going to do a video on it later on today so that you guys can see what that job is too. Um, and I did get some pine branches with all the needly things. Now I do it at this time of the year because there is more oils and essential juicy stuffs um, for what I'm going to be doing, um, which makes it a sensible idea to do it now at this time of the year than it does say in winter or autumn. If I do it all now, it's done. So, there you go. That's what I'm doing. And like I said, I'll, I'll do a video on it later on. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Because I know I'm not making any sense. So yeah. So this week, I have two very specific jobs to do. Um, three actually. Today, I'm going to walk up to the garlic from home. It's a job that's going to take me quite a while to get there. Um, probably this time three years ago, I could run up there just about. But today it's going to take me quite some time to get up there. Not a problem. I'm going to just keep going, right? And um, it probably will be that Tani has to come pick me up afterwards. <laughs> it's a good mile good mile away so it's gonna take me a little bit to get up there um, but that's okay it's all good we'll get there um, the other job is I need to get out and get the garbage that people keep throwing in our garden it's stopping me from going outside because I feel invaded um, I don't feel safe even though the, the new fence has been put up because there's still garbage being thrown in our garden I don't feel safe so I'm gonna go around today or tomorrow and 
with my little, I've got a little grubby stick and I'm going to be picking up all the garbage that's in the garden. Yeah. And we'll just have to go from there and see how it goes. Right. So, those are my two very specific jobs for this week. And they have to be done. One of them's being done today, the other one's being done either today or tomorrow. And the th there's a third as well. Yeah, so actually it's going to be two of them going to be done today. One of them's going to be done tomorrow. Possibly two of them. That's pretty good going, I reckon. Yes. Those are the things. And, um... We'll get, we'll get there. But yeah, ask yourselves, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? And let's just see how far it gets us. Okay, I love you guys heaps. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.